Hello everyone and welcome back into our latest challenge on this channel. Welcome back to 1975 where the cars used to be cool and uh, people and manufacturers are trying to be as cool as possible installing and you know exploring and making new gadgets and installing them in the latest luxury and expensive cars so before we start with all of the rules and everything else uh, remember if you want to participate in this channel in this uh, challenge i will tell you at the end of the video like the rules and every not the rules like how you will be participating and how can you send the file so you can participate in the challenge at the end of the video so enjoy the video focus on everything and run the video when you while you are making your car and automation game while you are making it run the video on your mobile phone so you can you know keep track with all of the rules so you don't you know break any of the on any of these rules and get disqualified and of course hit that like button get subscribed if you are new to the new to the new to the channel and you can watch all of our previous challenge videos uh, when you finish you know watching this one all right so enough chit chat enough uh, useless chit chat let's crack on with the rules so this is 1975 and the challenge is building a GT premium car a GT premium car uh, or a GT car is a mix between a luxury car and a sports car a car with good amount of horsepower speed performance handling while keeping the essence of a, a comfortable luxurious interior and the, the latest entertainment gadgets that's the whole idea of a GT car and I truly love the whole idea of a GT car because uh, base, because basically a, lux a, a stand alone luxury car is very very comfortable very awesome to drive but it will understeer it will be slow 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 all the time and acceleration will be bad the braking will be bad also but the whole comfortable experience is superb and a sports car will be super super fast super quick but it will be not comfortable at all. The seats will be hard, the suspension will be very tough. Yeah, it will not be a very great daily driving or a very, very enjoy enjoyable experience when it comes to comfort. So why, why not mixing both of them in a single car? That's what, that's what the GT car is. So the first important rule is set the year to 1975. 1975. No more, no less than that. Second rule. You can choose any chassis you want, any material on the chassis you want, anything you want here in this in this panel here you can go anything. Even fiberglass is allowed, but it will set your car to be very very limited which is which will not be, you know, which which will not be good for your judgment points. You can go fiberglass, but you will be face the you know face the risk of shaving some some of some some points out of your total, you know, total points because it's not safe uh, it's very expensive it requires super amount of time to be produced and yeah but you can choose it if you want i don't care any chassis even light truck monocoque although this is not a good chassis for a luxury car but if you want to use it you can uh, so any option you want to go here any suspension option and any quality option you can go even plus 15 if you want but make sure that you don't go over the production limit that i'm gonna tell you at the end of the video moving on the engine you can use absolutely any engine you want any material you want any size you want any head and valve you want basically anything you want in this page too moving on uh, the connecting rods pistons whatever you want also you can use any option you want here and any quality you want but there is an engine limit it's obviously written here but I'm gonna tell you when we when we reach that area uh, compression ratio all of these things are your own option too and uh, you can go NA or you can go turbocharged it's up to you moving on uh, yes now this is a very cool point because usually I don't allow carburetors but in this challenge carburetors are allowed so you can go car any carburetor or any fuel injection uh, but the configuration for the mechanical fuel injection only is to go single throttle body for the mechanical fuel injection only and wh whatever option you use carburetor or injection you need to use standard intake only no performance no race only standard now the fuel since it's 1975 and uh, the, the leaded fuel is uh, is very close to be banned that's why 
go with the regular and let it fuel only only regular 91 that's your only option here don't go low quality or super leaded or regular leaded these three are banned only this one uh, fuel mixture ignition timing rpm limit quality all these things are your own your own option uh, you can choose whatever you want the exhaust the exhaust system so for a t for a turbocharged engine you, this is your only option but for a for a naturally aspirated engine you can choose any option except race exhaust headers race exhaust headers is forbidden remember that no race exhaust headers but you can go um, all of the rest of them it's okay uh, so let's see uh, single or dual exhaust pipe it's up to you any size you want uh, and yes you need to use a catalytic converter yes you need to use it it's it's needed don't go none if if i see any engine with non catalytic converter uh, exhaust system the car will be disqualified remember that this is very very important also uh, you need to use mufflers any muffler you want i don't care but don't choose none this is forbidden and uh, uh, this is a very very important rule which is the loudness check out the loudness here your engine should be less than 20 points when it comes to loudness super quiet that's what i want and this is the market that i'm aiming for remember to pin, pin it so you can keep track with everything you want here so less than 20 on the loudness moving on uh, the final result as you can see for my engine 250 horsepower 370 pound feet of torque very good turbocharged v12 6 liter uh, so the winning points for the engine only uh, for the engine your limits are 75 on the production on the production units and 60 on the engineering time remember don't go over these two 75 don't go over 75 and don't don't go over 60 this time I'm not gonna ignore I'm not gonna you know let anything slide this time I'm gonna be super serious while judging the car if your engine is 75 point one your engine will be disqualified i'm not kidding this one because this is a luxury car here we are um, you know the customers will be paying a lot of money here so i'm not gonna you know let any car slide here no i'm not gonna i'm not gonna let any you know any breaking of any rules slide 75.1 you'll be disqualified 60.1 you'll be disqualified 60 75 i'm gonna accept it point one you'll be disqualified remember that so you can go any horsepower you want, any torque you want, but remember don't exceed those two. And of course your loudness should be less than 20. 20.1 20 your engine will be disqualified. Right, so the winning points or how, how, how your car will score more points is by uh, your engine should be super smooth, super torquey and super efficient and super reliable. Focus on these. Focus on reliability, efficiency, smoothness and uh, and quietness these and of course the torque focus on these points to get you know s super super extra points for uh, in, in the judgment so you can win the challenge so that's the engine that i made here it's a massive engine mechanical fuel injected to enter the challenge as you can see it fills up like most of the engine bay which is good moving on so as i've mentioned the car should be a four doors i don't know if i mentioned it or not so the car should be a four door sedan that's very important no wagons no hatchbacks no uh, no no sports cars no two door coupes no suvs no only a four door sedan any four door sedan i don't care any four door sedan but remember you need to keep it elegant don't give me a stupid looking car and the color well you can choose any luxurious color I mean use your imagination what do you think a luxury color should be I've chosen black because well it's a very very formal color but use your imagination like choosing a, you can do a custom color here choose a very 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 beautiful blend of luxurious and, and elegance that's what I want to see moving on the fixtures of the car now this is a very very important point because it's 1975 and you can't use like uh, you can't use like HIDs or LEDs or any kind of crappy modern technology no you have to use very very you know 1970s you know options as you can see mine is mine are very very basic headlights 
luxurious front grille uh, and you need to have a license plate holder remember that you need to have license plate and fog lights these are very important as you can see I also went with a hood ornament uh, side indicators side mirrors of course and classic looking door handles with keyholes because in 1975 there are no you know key fobs you need to use a regular key to open the door and you need to have a keyhole uh, the same goes for the fuel filler cap there is also a keyhole here you can find all of these things on the steam workshop side indicators on the rear and also as you can see because uh, at the trunk uh, there is there is of course a trunk release inside the car but you need also to put you know a trunk uh, keyhole so all of these all of these attention to detail to details is very very important uh, let's see what else an antenna is needed here I mean as you can see you need to pay attention to the details like because 1975 there are no like electronic uh, electronic antennas or anything like that but use you know use your imagination imagine yourself as an engineer in the 70s and go mad check out the rims rims from the 70s I mean everything here very very basic very boxy very beautiful and check out the 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 window washers the the, the windshield washers yes a nice touch indeed so use use your imagination don't don't tell me in the comment section below oh I, had, I don't have the mods I, I don't have to know the mods or I can't download the mods my friend, most of the things that you saw here not are not mods, really. The only mod on this car here is the body itself, you can, and you can find it easily on the Steam Workshop, and the, the key, on the keyholes only, and everything else is just there. But moving on. So, the, a, a luxurious or a luxurious or a, a, a GT car. Of course, a sports car should have a manual gearbox, but since this is also a luxurious car, you need to use automatic gearbox. Uh, you can go front-wheel drive if you want, you can go rear-wheel drive, but no 4x4. This is a stupid option for a, a GT car. So only rear-wheel drive or front-wheel drive. Automatic gearbox only, any ratios, any final speed, any final drive, any spacing and you can use only open differential no manual no automatic locker these two if, if i see any car with these two it will be disqualified only open any quality you want uh, let's see radial you can use hard long life or medium these two option only any tire width any parameters uh, and any and you, you can you, you can choose any rim material that's up to you any quality Moving on, any disc you can use, uh, any any brake option you want here, everything here is allowed. Moving on, and the under tray also, also you can use aerodynamics, you can use uh, any under tray option you want. But remember, the brake airflow should be always 100 and the cooling airflow for the engine should be always 55 or more. N no less than 55, remember that. Any quality you want, the car should be have 4 or 5 seats. 5 seats max and minimum is 4 seats. It's up to you. You can go 4 or 5. It's up to you. 5 seats will give you more practicality. 4 seats will give you uh, you know, less weight. It's up to you. Now this is an extremely important point. The interior. You can go luxury only on the interior. Nothing. No, nothing else. No sport. No premium. No handmade. Nothing. Only luxury uh, interior. That's it. Because if you want to go handmade, the car will be super expensive, super heavy, and it will be counted in the luxury premium se market section, which is which is the which is the wrong market that I'm aiming for. I'm aiming for a GT premium market. Remember that. So luxury is your only option. Uh, but the entertainment, you can go premium 8-track, phonograph, or luxury 8-track. These three options are allowed. These three options only. Any quality you want. Moving on. You, you need to have a hydraulic power steering. Remember that if I see any car with none, it will be disqualified. I'm not going to ignore that. This is a very important role. Hydraulic only. Any quality. One, safety. Well, you can go anything above standard. N nothing less than standard. But you need to go everything above standard 60. Anything above it, above this option, like everything... How can I say everything? Everything like much more modern and much more safer than the standard 60s. It, it will be, it will be allowed. But don't choose basic or none. Any any quality you want. Moving on. What the? Heck? 
we are, I run out of disk space. Okay, I don't care. Alright, so the springs, you can go any spring you want here. I'm not kidding, any spring option is allowed here. Let me close this. So any... Oh, come on, dude. Stupid computer. So... My god. So any springs, any spring option is allowed here. Uh, any damper, any sway bar option, and this is your own tuning. I'm not gonna show you my tune, so you don't, uh, you know, copy my tune. You can copy these, but it will be different from a car to another car. Depends on the weight, the power to weight ratio, and uh, so if you, if, if you copy these, you may succeed. You may not. It's up to you. But I'm not gonna show you my lines. But the most important rule is, of course, to make your, to make these the springs or the front suspension and the suspension lines to line up remember that uh, like, and please give, don't give me an, a suspension tune with super understeer because this is a gt car a gt car should also handle very very well i'm not if, if i was making only a luxury car yes you can go super super comfy super mushy and uh, super understeery and it will it will be perfect but since we are making a GT car which is a huge huge challenge and a huge demands a huge, a huge demanding on the suspension to be comfortable and to be sporty at the same time so you need to find the silver lining between comfort and performance <sighs> right moving on all right the final tab here which is the market let me show you the market so the how your car will be will be judged first the the most important thing here is to focus on the GT premium market so the highest point you the highest points you will you will achieve in this market will determine how well the car is in the automation tab in the automation judgment point judgment you know uh, judgment point because we have two points, automation point and beam and G point. So I'm gonna judge your car in two options, uh, based on the market, uh, how much how much the market love your car and how and how good your car is to drive in beam and G dot drive. So you need to achieve as high as possible points in the GT Premium market section here. Remember that uh, while while keeping the while keeping of course the customers to be able to buy it. So you, uh, you, you can give me like. 500 points here, but 2% only of the customers can buy it. That's not good. So you need to you need to make your car afford affordable to this market and lovable by the customers. All right. So the limitations: 130 is the production limit on the total car. Don't go above 130. And the engineering time is 50. That's your limit. Don't go above 50. 0.1% 0.1 extra of the one th above the 130 I'm gonna disqualify the car the same goes for the engineering time so the car will be judged by the market points and also I want to look at like the comfort the prestige these two are very very important and your car should have some sportiness points like nothing less than five points it should be at least sporty right it should be safe prestigious comfortable and somehow sporty somehow drivable and uh, let's see I yes I would love if your car is you know efficient if you can achieve like much more higher than this it will be very very favorable and it should be like reliable also practical um, that's pretty much it and, and of course the less the emissions the better uh, well, the price. The price. The, the, well, there is no limitations on the price. The market is Gasminia. Uh, that's what I want to see here. I want to see like the highest points here while keeping the customers, you know, able to afford it. And don't go over these two limits. Don't go over 130. Don't go over 50. And uh, let's see. There is. There are no limitations here. But please make sure that there's. There are. There is no brake fading. Brake fading will 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 shave a lot of points. Of your vehicle so please make sure that there is no brake fading whatsoever and uh, this is also a very good point a load capacity make sure that your car can take you know heavy heavy cargo or heavy people or you know heavy load capacity like 900 nearly 900 kilograms is very very good actually because you know nearly a ton that is very good towing capacity I don't care here this is this is not good or I don't I don't care any uh, at all about the towing capacity. So yeah, the quicker the better. The quicker from zero to hundred, the better, of course. 
uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's the challenge that you will participate in. So if you want to participate in this channel, make uh, sorry in this challenge, make your make the car in your uh, in your automation game while watching the video on your mobile, so that you don't so you don't break any rule. And when you finish, go to the summary point and export. Press this export button so you can get the car file, the dot car file, and then send this send me this file. Uh, on my discord submitting channel i'm gonna put the link in the description below for my discord for new for new uh, for new subscribers if they want to participate just press the link and uh, subscribe to my uh, to my discord don't worry it's free it's free for everyone just subscribe with the discord and uh, automatically you will, you will be added on the on the channels so you can submit your file on the submitting channel and of course you can chat with everyone over there uh, you can discuss this challenge you can you can share photos of your creation do whatever you want on on my discord and then when i receive your file i'm gonna drive your car in uh, in the city map and uh, like on sports sport driving and then I'm gonna drive it in, in some sort of efficient driving mode, you know, very slowly. Let the automatic gearbox shift on its own very gently. Test the braking, test the handling, and uh, maybe I'm gonna test the safety. Maybe not, but that's how I'm gonna test your vehicle. So uh, the deadline for the challenge. So let's see. Today is uh, Sunday, the second of September. All right. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Two days. All right, so I'm gonna give it to Tuesday. So right now it's 3:53 uh, p.m. As always. So today is Sunday. So the deadline will be my the, the deadline for this challenge, my friend, will be Tuesday, 6 p.m. plus 3 GMT time. That's my local time plus 3 GMT. So the deadline will be Tuesday, 6 p.m. according to my local time, which is plus 3 GMT. Again, Tuesday. 6 p.m. 6.01, I'm not gonna accept any extra car. Alright, it's because 6.05, I'm gonna start downloading all of your cars and, uh, you know, start driving and testing and checking uh, and verifying that all of your cars haven't breaking, haven't, you know, broke any rule. So that's pretty much it. Get creative. Show me what you can do in 1975. Remember, don't, don't, don't give me a car in the 80s or the 90s or 20s, no. Only 1975. So get creative, show me what you can do, and use your imagination. I want a perfect 1970 GT car. Sporty, comfortable, very good to drive, very prestigious, and scoring the highest points in the, in the uh, market, in the GT premium market section. And the winner of this challenge in the golden place, I'm gonna pronounce his name, and I'm gonna drive his car, his car uh, separately in a separate video. I'm gonna drive his car in a separate video, like uh, drifting it and do all all of the crazy things in it. So if the if the gold if, if the gold place you know got uh, you know if uh, three or four people you know won the gold place, I'm gonna drive all of their cars in a separate video. But if it's only one person, it will be much quicker for me. So get creative, and I want to see winners. I want to see cars sporty amazing to look at and uh, 